Hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to Somerseto Corsa. It has been a very, very long time and I do apologise, but I was waiting for my new graphics card. Uh, I didn't want to come onto this game and kind of struggle. Um, my old graphics card, it just wasn't up to standards, so it was a really, really, really hard struggle to play the game and enjoy it. Um, so I thought I'd wait out for my new graphics card and that came. And yeah, let's get into the, f let's get into it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, face bomb. Um, but I got some drift settings here. Um, but I don't really want to use those to be honest. I'm going to reset to default. Um, I'm going to go to the force feedback. I'm going to turn that down to 77. 77 on this game always worked for me. Um, I don't know if I will have to tune it. They might have changed the force feedback on this game a little bit or something. Uh, but I'm going to leave pretty much everything in here stock to be honest. Um, tires are going to leave stock. Alignment stock. I'm um, just going to leave everything how they wanted it to be, so let's do that. Let's jump into the driving. Just listen to that engine and then fall in love with this game. <laughs> so yeah, let's get going. Um, obviously, I am really bad at this game and now I've had a break from this game, I'm going to be even worse, so I do apologise if I spin out a lot, <laughs> but you know, you got to learn somewhere and you've got to start somewhere. Let's hope I can get some drifts going. And I actually just had a drift going, what the? What even happened? I actually just drifted in this game. Okay. Okay. It's gonna take some. It's gonna take, gonna take some getting used to this game again, I'm not gonna lie. Um, seeing as it is more of a simulation than all the other racing games I do play. Um, so it's gonna take some. It's gonna take some getting used to, but. It's pretty nice, getting some nice, nice few little drifts together. Obviously, they're not amazing, uh, but you've got to start and work your way up. <laughs> Starting from the bottom and still here. Oh, no, I could have whipped the wheel back fast enough. Why am I trying all this fainting shit? Like, come on, I just got to stick to basics and just try and drift the corner. <laughs> Like that. Oh my god, that was a sick drift. Yes. Oh my god, I've done another one. Oh, and I've linked it in. Oh my god. Uh, one thing on this game, I never got my head around is the gearing. Um, you can't actually tune the gearing, which is one thing that I've always struggled with. Like, it, this car just seems to bog down. Um, so. I don't know if it's more to do with the tune, like maybe I should tune a little bit more camber into the rear. Um, or negative negative camber, sorry. Yeah, into the rear, trying to get it a little bit slidier, but to be honest, I like the way it slides. I like the way it holds sideways. It holds a nice angle sideways, look at that. So I'm not actually doing too bad. <laughs> I learned the ways of this game again. Um, obviously when I do my next episode, I'll probably be back to normal. <laughs> Spinning out all the time. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm drifting pretty well. Maybe we can go explore another track next episode. Um, let me know what you guys think about this game because it's a fun game to play, uh, more simulation than real, uh, which is good. Oh no, that was too forceful. That was far too forceful. Uh, I didn't use any throttle either, so it just kind of the whole body weight was just. It was, well, <laughs> it, it was just. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be fun to learn this game. Um, Obviously, on my old graphics card, I did used to play this game offline, uh, but I didn't really play it too much because I didn't enjoy playing it on a bad graphics card. Um, I, I like my high frames per second. Obviously, they're not the best right now, um, seeing as I am recording. But obviously, when I'm when I'm not recording, uh, I do have higher frames per second, uh, which is which is good. Very very good, and you can enjoy the game a little bit better. Um, you can have better better graphics quality. Oh no, that's normally my favourite corner, I've been doing that one quite well. And I fucked it up. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's feeling quite nice. I'm not doing, ooh, I caught the grass there. Um, I'm not doing too bad though. I'm not doing too bad. I thought I'd do a lot worse than this to be honest. I'm holding some nice drifts. Um, but I thought there'd be a lot more spinning out than I am doing. Uh, I need to get my throttle control back. Um, it's a lot different to other games. Uh, the 
from the child. You have to be a little more delicate on this. That is one thing I have found. Um, but I have a lead foot, so it's quite hard. <laughs> My foot is just planted. Like I can't get it off. Like once it's down, it's down. There's no, there's no in between. It's just on or off. <laughs> I'm just sticking in gear two, just keeping it easy. Oh my god! I started this episode so well, and I've just gone into like dirt mode or something. Maybe a deterioration in tires, because I think you can do that on this game. So I don't know. Could be, could be an explanation, but I don't know. It, it doesn't seem to be holding like it was, but maybe that's just me. Just. Just learning the game. Um, I need to stop going for so much angle. I think that's a problem. That was nice. That was nice. Nice and conservative. Oh no, I lost my tire spin. It just completely disappeared. Why you disappear? Why you notice? Nice speed. That was probably the fastest entry I've done in this game since I started recording, maybe? Felt pretty nice. Okay, I've got it back now. I've got my angle safety points back. <laughs> Watch this, I'll spin up now. We'll go for a little, little bit of a faster entry. Nah, uh, wasn't going to hold that. This is fun, I'm really enjoying learning a drifting game again. Like. To actually learn a new kind of physics. Like I used to play R Factor and when SP mod came out, that was really fun to learn the SP mod. Um, everyone started using it, but they only started using it just because it's a new physics. Like it was new, um, it was more of a struggle. Um, so it was all good. Um, and I really enjoyed learning it as well. And I think there's an SP mod coming out for um, a set of course which would be absolutely insane. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see for that. Uh, I think that is pretty true. Um, I saw it somewhere. I think I saw it on the Assetto Course of Drifting community on Facebook. Um, so if you want to, if you want to join in with their conversations and stuff, uh, pretty nice communicate uh, communication <laughs> community on there. Um, so if you want to check that out, uh, just Facebook it. Um, you have to you have to apply to be invited, but. I think it's pretty much just an open group. They just like to keep it kind of closed, if you know what I mean. Um, but it is pretty open. Uh, just send them a request to the group. They should, should just let you in. So pretty good on there. Um, they have nice cars um, and stuff like that. Don't know what I just done, but it kind of worked a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, enough of me talking rubbish. Get back to the gameplay. Um, I'm not drifting really amazing, but I'm just trying to keep it conservative. Just get it, just make it somewhat sideways. Like I don't, I'm not trying to go too much angle. I'm just trying to get some nice drifts together, uh, which, I, uh, which I think is the way to do it. To be honest, there's no point going in like gung ho like that. What? I'm talking about not going in like gung ho, and then the corner I start saying that. I go in the fastest I've ever gone into a corner. Like, what am I doing? It's like my my, my mouth and my brain. They just do opposite things. It's like they hate each other. They generally hate each other. Oh, that was a very nice corner. I took that so wide. I, caught, I carried so much speed through that corner. Oh yeah, three corners in a row. That I absolutely spot one. Oh, and then I ruin it there. Uh, so I'm struggling on that bit to be honest, because you have to kind of prolong the drift. Um, as soon as the handbrake is on my wheel, it's a button on my wheel, um, it's kind of hard to press the handbrake, so... Maybe it's something that will come with practicing. Um, but, you know, I'm going to have to learn to not use the handbrake too much in this game. Oh yes! That was a nice drift. Banging off the limiter sideways. Yeah, what are you saying? No, I've lost that. Oh, 
it seems like once you go in that just a little bit too much, you're gone. Um, which is good, which is good. It's more realistic. Kind of like that, <laughs> where you go in too much angle, too much speed. Yeah, this is going to be fun to learn this. It's going to be fun, man. Hope you guys enjoy it too. Um, obviously, it is, it's, it's going to be hard to watch. It's going to be spinning all the time. Uh, but it's something to learn. Um, a very nice game. Very nice, appealing game as well. Um, it looks nice. Um, obviously, when it's, once it's rendered, etc., put on YouTube, I'll be able to see what you guys can see. Uh, but on, on my on my PC right now, it looks absolutely absolutely spot on. I don't know why I done that. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's gonna be about it for this episode. It's been fun. Um, we're gonna do some practicing um, off video. Uh, but actually, I'm gonna stream it. Uh, whenever I practice on this game, I'm going to stream it, so if you guys want to check out my stream, uh, go for it. Uh, I'll just be practicing on there. Uh, we can have a little bit of a chit chat. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time.